quick, Greco. Threw me out on my ass. He can give a shit I got a pregnant wife at home. Nice to be back on the job is all I'm saying. You're him, aren't you? Lincoln Clay. Vito asked me to come see you. He wants our guys to do double the runs. Double the runs means double the chances of running into the Coast Guard. Well, I don't think I'm gonna be too much help dealing with them. So I will deal with those hijos de la gran puta. I need someone to keep the warehouses full, keep the money coming in. How much we talking? Enough to make it worth your troubles. You're gonna be hitting trucks for the contraband. Seems simple enough. I'll let you know when I get the first truck. You didn't just save his life, you know. You brought him back. The real Vito. What I mean is I haven't seen this Vito in a really long time. And I don't want him to go back to the way he was. You got something to say, Alma, just say it. What's gonna happen next? You need him? And you need us now. So you give Marcano the fucking he deserves. Is it back in the freezer again? Would you believe me if I say no? No. I don't think so. But I believe very few people these days. And if Vito say this is the way things are, that's how they are. If you see any of Greco's men out there, you should deal with them. It will make it easier for us to conduct business. I got my hands on prank. Oh, Jesus. Remember, we're gonna get 3,000 pounds of yams. You know what, don't worry about it. Shooting. Didn't you hear? We're about to find ourselves in the middle of a race war. I've seen you shoot. I think I'll be all right. <laughs> hey, with this fucking rifle, I'm Wild Bill Hickok. So, how's the Padre handling all this? You know, the bloody path of mayhem and revenge you've embarked upon? Still not happy about it. Thinks you're most likely the devil. <laughs> you know, I had a look at his service record. Oh, settle down. I was just curious. He was a medic. But he saw action at Klimbaugh with the 614th. He was credited with taking out two crowd tanks on top of the 16 men he shot. A lot of killing for a would-be priest. That was different. It was during a war. And this isn't? Look, I'm just saying. We didn't win that war by worrying about hurting someone's feelings. We won it by bombing the crowds and nips back to the Stone Age. Padre'd be wise to remember that. Yeah, maybe. I'll catch you later. You're not still sore about me looking into the pot? <laughs> Vito's probably these knucklehead. What the ever living hell is a chitterling?
I got here, top of the line material. Ain't no better price than all. I can't believe what I'm reading, what I'm hearing on the radio. What you doing? You knew how it was gonna go down. I sat right there and told you. Maybe I'm just realizing there's a difference between hearing about something in the abstract and seeing it splash across the front page in a newspaper. You didn't think I'd go through with it? I... I don't... No, I knew. I knew as soon as you regained consciousness, I could see it. I, I look at you, I see who you were. A little boy who didn't have much, but who also wasn't angry about it. A little boy who shared, who laughed, who, who just enjoyed being. I wonder what happened to him. He finally realized how things work. <laughs> Is that so? How many times was the orphanage vandalized by rednecks? How many times did we have to drive around asking restaurants for their leftovers because we didn't have nothing else to eat? Did we have to deal with racist assholes? Sure. But whenever they did something, folks come around and help us. White, black, Baptist, Lutheran, you name it. You know how all you boys got new jackets on Christmas? Those came from an old white woman, a Calvinist. She spent the entire year making them. If all you ever look for is evil, it's all you ever gonna see. I gotta go. I... I never wanted this. I don't know if you saw over at Sammy's, but what the fire didn't get, the neighborhood took. Not out of malice, mind you. They wanted something to help them remember. Lincoln Clay. Jesus Christ on the cross. Now I've seen everything. I heard you were dead. Been hearing that a lot. What the fuck do you want? Came here to make you a business proposition. Is that so? I'm going after Marcano, his brothers, anyone else that's associated with him. You know what may help? The way I see it, once we deal with Barbieri, you get Point Vidum back. After that, we can discuss what happens to the rest of the city. <laughs> no, fuck off. Of all the chalky postures once already. Look where it got me. From where I'm standing, I'm not seeing much of a difference between then and now. You lesson that, you lesson, God, you're fucked. 
Danny was so burned up, the coroner wouldn't let me get a last look at him. If anyone's killing that fucking Marcano, that's me. Unless Marcano's hanging around one of these dive bars, I don't think he has too much to worry about. Yeah, go fuck yourself. There's more stones in the likes of you that are fucking off. A fucking ingrate. Coming to your question, me. You and your kind, you yeah, caught ten run at the first sign of trouble. You always have. You always will. are going for a little ride. What the Christ you think you're doing? You were bragging about your stones, so I figured we'd take a little ride. See who cracks first, the Chalky or the Mick. Give me the word when you've had enough. Proving nothing. That's the shot. Maybe there's hope for you yet, you monkey bunch. That's the shot. Maybe there's hope for you yet, you monkey bunch. You ain't proven nothing. Pick the wrong man to call out. Pick the wrong man to call out. Pick the wrong man to call out. I oh, feel a warning. Your shake dragons pulling on my fart strings. Oh, it's the cocks already. I got drinking to do. Pull over here. Now, get the fuck out of my raid. in a bit. We've got more to us. Back so soon, then. Tell me about Barbieri. Barbieri? Well, he's a right fucking cunt. I can tell you that much. You know what I'm asking, Burke. Give me something I can use. Barbieri's running Splow out of the Sweetwater Distillery. Splow. Panther's piss. White mule. Alley gin. Hot chain, moonshine, you ignorant fuck. Christ, what kind of booze you people drink over there in Darkyville? Kind that's not called painter's piss. <laughs> Boy, you ain't lived. Set the whole thing up myself. Then that gunny fuck comes in and takes it from me. Smashes me knee all to hell. barbieri has gonna suffer. You hear? Days. Slow. What else has he got besides the distillery? 
Aye, ah, runs that old rubber door slaughterhouse. He's doing more in there than cutting a lean ribeye. Drags in there. That's the end of you. I'll do the heavy lifting on this, Burke. Uh-huh. But once Barbieri's dead, I'm counting on you to step up. Oh, I'll do more than step up. I'd either be running this whole damn town or burning it to the ground. But honest, it'll make a whole lot of difference to me either way. <laughs> and yes, and hot once again. A nation once again And Ireland long A province be a nation Once again Whichever shit storm you take up. Don't remember up. Still can't believe Danny's gone. He was a good boy. Surprised to see you, Nikki. I know what you're planning on doing. And I couldn't just sit here and watch my old man send you out half-cocked. Fuck. Man, your dad's never been much for details. Yeah, what he didn't tell you is that the man running the Sweetwater Distillery is named Carl Bevers. Hard ass Country asshole. His family runs the shine through the business, sells it to local shops. Bevers ever let on to where he keeps his stills? Uh, he's got brains enough to move things around. Rumor is he's got a map hit somewhere for his drivers. Hmm. Something like that could come in handy. Maybe I'll convince one of his men to tell me where it is. Hey, we've got another man. Goes by the name of Bear. Keeping an eye on the meatpacking plant. You should go see him. I'll do that. Thanks for the help. Anytime, Lincoln. You want to know what Bevis is up to, you're gonna have to get at some of his people. When he boxed, they used to call him Brooklyn Bevers, on account that he'd hit some poor fuckers so hard, they'd feel it all the way in Brooklyn. When this bullshit with my old man's through, you and me should talk. And Burke says you're the only person we're talking to about it. Well, Burke's a fucking genius in that regard. I'll head on out to you now. Here's your car, boss. Appreciate it.
need resupply in Point Badun. I'll head your way now. See anything you need? Show me what you got. Hope you have. I'll be with that. See you later. This is it. Give me a hand here. Insult oh. oh. oh.
You're gonna tell me everything about Bever's business. All the cash we bring in from selling hooch? I know where it's being stashed. That's a big help. Thanks. Some crossfire and point for done. Of course. Be there soon. Did you see that? Oh my god! You've made some poor choices in your life. Huh? Maybe I should get a closer look. Okay. Yeah, on the move! I think this person's dead. Don't mind. We may have to have an enemy fire point. This is dispatch. We've got a homicide in the area if you can spare the time.
on these fuckers.
the phone.
that rain's done coming down. Is that a gun in that guy's hand? It's all yours, boys. He's here. Do not mess with me. Is that boy healed?
Bevis can't be happy about what you've been doing. You got Carl's attention. He's back at the Sweetwater Distillery. Any idea how he'll react when I go in there? He's bug shit crazy swamp people. How do you think he'll react? Still, might be worth keeping him around. No one knows the bayou like he does. Oh, you one for this, Nikki? Damn right you do. Bevis is waiting for you. Real interested to see how you handle him. All right, you've got the map. Now get out there and find those stills. I need resupply. Send Hold yard. Need some crossfire and point for done. Of course. Be there soon. Those Better not lose this. I need resupply and point for done. No gun do, friendo. Maybe next time. You both! That black bitch is mine. Pull up on me. He's over here, you bunch of fuckwits. That shit's all him. Let's go. You boys are fucked now. Get on down. Now. Ah, shit! Ah, 
Fuck you, and fuck Bark! You talk too much. Emptied out the distillery. It's primed and ready for your boys. Over still standard. My boys are on the way. Snatch that slaughterhouse from him, and that fuck Barbieri will have to react. Thomas Burke came to the States as a boy uh, when his father fled Ireland, likely because of his involvement in the Irish Civil War. Um, after his father died of a heart attack, uh, Burke started running booze to support himself. I mean, he turned bootlegging into an entire industry, and Sal Marcano took notice. Uh, Burke worked his way up the ranks, but could never be made because he wasn't Italian. Salutations and all that shit. You bear? Nikki sent me. Oh, I'm gonna marry that girl someday. Bear Donnelly. I own Nikki's da. Everything. He has me keeping an eye on the Robert O. Meatpacking plant. Who's running things over there? Nut job by the name of Sonny Blue. Let's a room out to the butcher's loan sharks. Protection guys, too. If they can't do it there, they put their hurt to people in the street. Any chance Sonny's around the Robert O? Fuck no. Sonny only comes around to scare his people into shape. But I'm hearing one of his boys, a fella named Ralph, got caught skimming. They're working the bloody bastard over in the slaughterhouse to find out where he's got it stashed. Might be beneficial to pull his arse out of the fire. I'll see what I can get out of Sonny's goons. Watch your ass, Bill. Sonny Blue's people are scared of him. Might not talk. Why not make him more scared of you? <laughs> Heard you made life hell for Carl at the distillery. Let's see if you can do the same to Sonny Blue. Sure, Burke ran protection, but when the Butcher and Sonny do it, they're just mean. <laughs> 